I loved being a missionary. It was by far the best experience that I've had. Um, I mean, I'm home and married now. That's great, too. But I miss my mission every single day. And it was the most special time of my life. What I really realized, and I realize this more and more every day as I think about those sweet people, is that you as a missionary, I as a missionary, I was literally stepping into the Savior's place. Not that he's replaceable, of course, but I was ministering to his children exactly as he would have done when he was there. When I got set apart, my sick president blessed me and told me that when people met me, it would be the closest experience they'd ever have to meeting Jesus Christ himself in person. And that really touched me, and it really affected me a lot. And I tried to think every day, I'm going to be obedient so I can be Christ-like. And you're going to have the most tender experiences. When I see the videos of Christ and Him ministering to the sick, and these little small frail bodies, you do that. You go into these little shacks, and they have a mattress on the floor, on a dirt floor, and you sit there on the bed with a sick, ailing person. And you just love them and you minister to them just as Jesus Christ would when you were there, when he was on the earth. If he were there, he would be doing exactly what we were doing. Um, we're the Lord's angels walking around and blessing people's lives. Um, it is surreal. It is so spiritual every day. I think I was so used to being on such a spiritual high that I didn't recognize it. And now that I'm home and adjusted to normal life, I really miss how spiritual it was and how great it was. I, another th piece of advice, I always beat up on myself for not being perfect. I wanted to be a perfectly obedient missionary and I'd fall short and I'd catch myself breaking a rule and then I'd stop and realize, oh, I'm breaking a rule and then I'd try to fix it and do better. But I'd always just beat up on myself. I wanted to be like Alma and Amulek, baptizing so many. And it's hard, and it's hard work. And I think it's great to strive for perfect obedience, but don't focus so much on it that you become one of the robot missionaries that, that judge every other missionary, um, but just love every other missionary. Um, I really, when I went home and I finished my mission, the overall sense I had was, I was not a perfect missionary, and maybe I wasn't even as perfectly obedient as I wanted to be, but I was perfect at trying, and I was perfect at trying to be obedient and trying to do better, and I think that's what matters. You're going to hear so much in the MTC and on your mission about perfect, perfect, perfect obedience, and it, it's hard. It's really hard. It's not as easy as it might seem, um, especially when you're a a great missionary and you're attracting and you have so many lessons that you can't fit them all into one day you're going from house to house to house to house and you're just running getting home on time is the hardest rule and so when you get home tw 20 minutes late you just broke a rule and that wasn't perfect obedience but it's okay because the Lord understands and as long as you really strive for that that's what really matters another thing about homesickness at first it's a little bit hard but you adjust and you get to the point where you don't think about your family at all. You just forget about them. And I know that sounds sad. And maybe I'd remember a memory here or there, but I felt no homesickness at all. And I'd go a whole week and think, oh, it's like already time to write my family today. I don't even know what to write them, or I don't remember what they wrote me last week. Um, because you get so caught up in the work. And really, that's how it should be. It's still great to love your family, but... Um, that really isn't something you should be too concerned about. There were a lot of sister missionaries too who, who would go home early. A lot of times you would see a group of five to six sister missionaries coming in. Now it's more like two each time, but, and then of that group, two will go home at, after the end of six, 18 months. So the other ones all went home sporadically throughout. And sometimes it was because of sickness and sometimes it was because of anxiety or depression or not handling it well 
Um, sometimes it's for personal family problems. I just really encourage you to stick out the whole time um, and do whatever you can t to keep you there, but still be open to the Lord's inspiration. And if, if the time does come that you do need to go home early, just trust the Lord and know that you did not fail Him and that you did your very, very best. Um, but it's going to be just as hard as everybody tells you it's going to be. You get motivated, and it's just as great as everyone tells you it's going to be, too. It has both. Um, there has to be adversity in all things. So just stay strong. Keep through it. Pray a lot. Prayer helps so much. Um, and reading the Book of Mormon. If I could redo my mission, I really would focus way more on the Book of Mormon. And I, I did a good job at it, don't get me wrong. But it, it's so powerful. The only thing that will keep a member or a convert active is reading it and having friends in the Word. But I know a lot of missionaries who want to use verses out of the Bible so that people are really believe that Mormons use the Bible because some people don't think that. But I think it's so important to use the Book of Mormon because you're starting to read them all these scriptures and it's starting to resonate with them. And they're starting to feel the Spirit and then they think, yeah, this Mormon book is actually good. And it actually helps the Bible. And they start to be, have a testimony of it. And once they do have the testimony of the Book of Mormon, they now have a testimony of Joseph Smith. And now that they have that testimony, they know that the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is Christ's church upon this earth. That it is the right one. It is the exact one. All because the Book of Mormon was true. So don't focus on the Bible so much. I used, of course, use scriptures from there for family nights or... In the, the first lesson, um, the restoration, we used scriptures from the Bible before introducing the Book of Mormon. And that was great, too. Um, but really focus on the Book of Mormon a ton. Being a missionary is the best experience. I miss it every day. I'm saving up money to go back and see a little family of five sealed in the Tegucigalpa Temple next year because I just miss and love those people. It was the best time of my life. You are going to love being a missionary. You're going to the best place with the best people, and everything about the experience is what makes it. The weather, the hotness, that's what you're going to look back and love and remember that you went through that. The mosquito bites, the, the everything. Um, every trial about it is what you're going to end up loving and remembering. So just enjoy it while you're there.